boosted growth mm -hmm. and MSMEs. Yes. So now we have here a concrete example. Mr. Ofre, uh, tell us about Tsitsiria. Well, Tsitsiria Sari Sari started about 15 years ago. And uh, we had growth pains, of course. Uh, aside from the operations, we had these uh, financial requirements of a startup business. And uh, it was a challenge. But probably to sheer guts and glory, <laughs> we were able to survive. And I'm happy now because I've heard news of uh, positive news no? coming from the government side that there are programs in place for similar uh, businesses like us no? uh, for government to help. And Paula, is this true? Like, I don't, I don't know, first of all, what is an MSME? What would you have to present in order to be classified as a micro, small to medium enterprise? Okay. Um, the, um, there are two laws governing MSMEs, two general laws, yung Magna Carta for MSMEs and the Bambi law. So the definition of an MSME is it's actually any enterprise, any business enterprise. Uh, you can do processing, manufacturing, production, services, and trade. Um, that And it's defined by asset size. So if your asset size, uh, not including your the land where your office is located or your operation is located, your asset size is less than 3 million, you're a micro enterprise or a Bambi, uh, Barangay Micro Business Enterprise as, as to the Bambi law. Above 3 million to 15 million, you're a small enterprise. 15 million to 100 million, you're considered a medium enterprise. And then above that, you're already a big business. So SMEs uh, go from up to 100 million. Um, you It depends on the form of the the entity that you're you're registering at, uh, with whether you will just be registering with DTI. If you're a sole proprietorship, then you register with the DTI. If you're going to be a corporation and a partnership, um, then you register with SEC. And Paula, what types of benefits do you get under the Go Negotia Act? Okay, um, maybe to one step back. In the existing laws, there's already. B benefits for Bambis or mi micro enterprises. If you're registered as a micro enterprise, you're supposed to be exempt from ta taxes, income tax. So that's a big boost for yung mga nagsisimula pa lang. Mm -hmm. And this is startup enterprise. Yung barangay, yung Bambi. Yes. Uh, 3 million pesos and below. below. In terms of asset size. Um, what the Go Negosyo Act does is it make it's supposed to make it easier for a Bambi or a micro enterprise to register um, and get a certificate of authorization, which you need to get the tax exemption. But the other thing that's important about the Go Negotio Act is that it sets up a negotio center in every province, city, and municipality. For us, it's important because, as um, Sir had pointed out, the the it's really a challenge to set up a business here in the country. And for a long time, enterprises don't know if you want to be an entrepreneur, you don't know where to go. So the main thrust of the Go Negotio Act is to make sure there's a place, a central hub for every negotio or enterprise um, to go to, to ask for assistance and um, to get the services that government should be providing. There's two parts to it. One is, um, it's I think, sir, would also know from experience the difficulty it is in all the, the registration requirements, the paperwork required. Sometimes you go, have to go to several offices in your LGU, in DTI, sure. in SEC. Lalo na ngayon, it's almost Christmas time and exactly. a lot of bazaars, food yeah. stalls, yung mga gourmet markets. They're really small. They're and really small. A lot of the people I know who are uh, into conducting mga stalls, yes. sales ng food or clothes, they complain and dami dami requirements. Dami so, who, requirements. So they'd rather not register, they yes. just operate in the in informal economy. And what we want to do is we want them to be part of the formal economy. The With the negotio center, what we're um, currently envisioning is that that's, all, that's the only place you have to go to. And it will facilitate the different requirements. A phrase did you go through this type of obstacle when you were starting?